Okay, hey guys, we're here at Yapi in Seriso and we're taking a look at this, the Yuppie. Huawei S7. Um, this is a 7-inch Android tablet. It's currently running Android 2.2 and I'll just, we'll take a brief look around the device. You can see here, I believe this is a speaker grill, volume buttons. On the bottom is a micro SD card slot, as well as a, I guess this is a proprietary connector port. I'm not too sure whether it's a proprietary or PDMI port, but I guess that's for docking purposes. So we go on the right, we have the power, as well as a micro USB slot, and another speaker grill. So I believe it will be stereo speakers. Hmm. On the top, power button, headset jack. On the back, you have here a 2 megapixel camera. Um, it's not, honestly, it's not that great, I think. But we also have a kickstand, so you can actually stand it up to be used um, however you like it. Pretty good. Yeah. Nice feature to have. Mm. So on the front, we have three buttons here, home, menu, and back. These are actually physical buttons though it's flush with a screen but they are physical buttons there's some physical tactile feedback to them squishy yeah it's a bit squishy so here call buttons hang up and i guess redial things like that front facing camera and this is actually an optical mouse so you can actually scroll left and right up and down as well as press it so it's like a joystick kind of thing and i believe here might be a ambient light sensor but i don't think that can't really see it. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, as I mentioned, it's running Android 2.2. We go into settings, about tablet. You see here it says Android 2.2.2, model number IDOS S7 Slim. But I believe this is actually the S7 because um, I've played around with a Telstra, Telstra T Touch tab in Australia, which is a similar form factor. So I believe they just upgraded the firmware to use the S7 Slim firmware, which is why it's running Android 2.2. So if we go to the home screen, um, as you can see here, I've actually installed Launcher Pro as well, but we'll get to that later. So this is the standard home screen that you will see um, with a device. So as you can see here, the weather reports, time, it's nice because you can actually see any unread messages, missed calls, and as you notice, it's a very landscape-oriented device. You have this different um, tabs that show different home screens and you can also add and scroll left and right accordingly. If you want to access all your apps, it's in the bottom right corner. So standard application list. There's also a back button, soft back button. But what's also nice is you see they don't have the notifications for standard Android but they do have this notification button here which actually lets you access quite a Quite a few things. So on the right hand side you have your tasks which you can actually close if you want to straight from the notification drop down and obviously you have a few toggles on top here. What's great about this device is that it does allow you to make calls as well so you can actually put a sim card in there. I put in my B Mobile sim card and we're currently running um, on our mobile data. So what's great about that is that you can actually use this for Wi-Fi tethering as well. So if you want to just say you have other phones or your computer that you want to share the internet with, you can enable tethering and portable hotspots, which we tried just now and it works like a charm. This device seems to be very landscape oriented. A few applications that it comes installed with don't even rotate when you go into portrait mode such as memo. So See here we played around with it for a while, click edit. So here comes a keyboard, standard Android keyboard, no customizations, um, no alternative keyboard methods. And if you type, you just type whatever, but if you rotate it, it doesn't rotate. So it shows, I think, that this device is made to be used more in landscape by default. Hmm. But because this is Android, you can, you can customize it according to how you want to use it. So. What I did is, I found that I didn't like the standard home screen because it was only used in landscape mode. So I installed Launcher Pro, which allows you to have um, portrait use. Mm. Um, 
So a few more other things to note about the specifications is that it doesn't have much space for apps, sadly. Um, if we go down here to SD card and tablet storage, as you can see here, the internal tablet storage is only 160 megs. My Optimus one is 200 megabytes. And while this is Android 2.2, you can move applications to the SD card. Um, you will note you will notice the low storage space warnings if you install a lot of applications. Mm. Um, what else, what, what's so great about this device actually is that it supports Flash. Flash. Surprisingly, I was able to go to the market, install Flash, and if you go here to live.twitch.tv, you'll be able to see that Flash is running automatically. So you just mm. have to let it load. The stream. There yep. we go. There we go. That's so perfect. you can actually, um, okay, you, actually you can touch this. Full screen. That's what I'm trying to do. So I can touch this. No. How about trying the the, the, yeah, the you, you have to press and hold, press and hold the flash icon, flash device, and click full screen. Nice. Perfect. So look at that. Full screen. Another second. Flash. Sorry. On a Huawei S7. You can actually just. You want to watch it? Okay. Sure. Kick, put the kickstand kickstand out. Yeah, you can watch it while you're doing your work or whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty good. So that's one thing I'm sure the iPad can't do. Yeah. You don't have flash at all. Well, it doesn't have enough hit stand either. But at the end of the day, um, that's what that's what's great about Android. You mm. have the um, choice out there. If mm. you want, if this is important to you, you are able to do this. Yep. Let's take a look at a PDF reader. I've installed Adobe Reader. So this is just a standard Fedora user guide. So as you can see, the text is a bit small if you're in portrait mode. So it may not be ideal for reading if things are too small. It does have multi-touch, so you can zoom in and zoom out. So you might need to tweak what, is, what works best for you. But you could also just go in landscape mode. And in landscape mode, um, the text seems fine. I'm going to take a look at a PDF comic. So go back to the PDF reader. See, in landscape mode, it's fine. Mm. You just let it load. Yeah. Because I think there's only about 400 megabytes of RAM, so it's not mm. um, fantastic, but I think yeah, it gets the job done. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is a budget device. It's only mm. $399 Brunei dollars, nice. which basically gets you a 7-inch tablet as well as a phone. Mm. So for those who are looking to for budget devices, this is a very good um, mm. device. It has front-facing cameras, so you can do video calls. Mm. It has, yeah. Yeah. I, think the, I think just specifically about this comic, I think it says the resolution is too high. It's not uh, yeah. ideal. I this think resolution, this, this PDF comic was actually just something I downloaded online. Yeah. So you can see it seems pretty high quality, but it may take a while to load. Yeah. That could be just an issue with a PDF that's not optimized for mobile. Totally. Or it's a degree, but, but I don't know. I think, I think once, once it's loaded, because you're going to slowly read it anyway, right? You're not going to be scared. You're not going to be flicking through quickly. Yep. yep. So, see, it's pretty good. Seems fine. Yeah. It's a good device. Yeah. In, once again, in portrait, it may not be ideal. You can you can still read the words. Mm. This might be a bit too small for you, for your liking. So the best thing is just come down here to Yapi, try it out, see whether it works for you. Mm. File manager. Oh. Okay. Since we're in docs here, do note. I think it doesn't come with any. Office document readers. So if you're talking about doc files, you're talking about Excel or PowerPoint files, you will not be able to open it. You'll have to download uh, Office application or something like that. So do take note. Office application. I have a few videos. Some notable points is that you can actually play WMV HD video. Hmm. Um, 1080p won't play. Understandable. 1080p won't play, but I th I don't think that. I think 720p is more than sufficient. And for MP4 files, it's the same story. Uh, 720p is 1080p. Just won't. We'll just give you an error. This video cannot be played. M4V is supported as well. Interesting. So this is basically like video that you can get off if you export from iMovie, things like that. Mm. I think other formats are not supported. Like AVI is not supported. Unable to open. Which is interesting. FLV same story as well as MOV files and MKV.
So it may not be the best multimedia player if you don't have those yeah. if you have those file formats. In terms of games, it plays Angry Birds. Yes, it plays Angry Birds. Uh, it plays it better better than my Optimus One. So I did not notice any slowdown on the level that I noticed slowdown on my Optimus One. So the specs are slightly better. So. See, everything seems smooth. Mm. Even when I hit things, they will seem smooth. Okay. So I guess you can do some bit of gaming on this device as long as the apps aren't too big. Should be. So with that, I think we can just take a look at the specs as well as a closer. So it's a 800 by 480 screen. If we go into system. Screen 800 by 480 screen, so it's not the highest, um, it's not as high resolution as the Galaxy Tab, mm. but I think using it, it, it's fine. I don't see any need to go higher unless you want sharper images, it's perfect. but I don't see any reason, there's no real need for it. Mm. In terms of OpenGL, it does have a Qualcomm Adreno 200, mm. I think that's the same as my Ultimus one. Nice. The cameras that it has, I think both are two, both are two megapixels. And yeah, I think that's all that we have to show you. Total RAM, 410 dashboard. Mm. Internal memory, this is for applications, 160 maximum. Mm. RAM maximum, 400, just over 400. Mm. So, yeah, it's a nice device. Yeah. I think also, does it come rooted? Yeah, that's, what, that's one thing we actually noted is, it came with an application called Super User, which is for root, is only able for rooted devices. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too sure whether they actually rooted this or it came standard. Mm -hmm. um, well, this seems to be easy enough to root. I think a lot of Android fans yeah. are keen on that. Yeah, that's true. So the only issue I think I have is like some of the applications that come with, like music, I think these are all applications that came with the device that are all made for landscape mode. So you see it doesn't rotate. Mm. So you might have to install applications um, mm. to do to do that if you want if you want rotate. Yeah, which is not which is trivial I suppose. And, uh, yeah, there's so some there's already a lot of apps on it. So yeah, but I think the problem is amplified because since it only has a small amount of memory mm. is that if you add a few more apps you have to add functionality yeah, that's that you true. had that you would have had originally is you're gonna have to ha you might have some problems. Mm -hmm. um, camera and camcorder, I think as you mentioned, it's not fantastic. Yeah, works about as well. But I guess it's usable. Yeah. Like for settings, 1600 by 1200, two megapixels. Mm -hmm. Some auto white balance. So if we take a look, see if here at Yapi, take a look at their USB drives, memory cards. The yeah, shutter sound could be better too. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit loud, so you can always turn down the ring of volume if you don't want it to miss it. So we're going to shoot a video. This is a video with the Huawei S7 here at Yafi. Let's take a look at the auto exposure balance. There we go. So I doubt it does macro. Oh, it does? It does do auto focus. To a certain extent, I think. Which is nice. Him and video of me. And this is the test of a front facing camera, the Huawei S7. So, do note there's no LED flash. So, mm. for those of you in the dark, <laughs> if you want to take photos in the dark, you're going to have to use a flashlight or something. I don't even use flash. Flashes are evil. Mm. The only problem is um, video quality is only in CIF. Mm. I'm not too sure what resolution that is. It's not VGA, it's not QVAGA. And it doesn't seem that you can change any of the settings. Which is interesting, what's the options there? Yeah, so you see all these options are greyed out, so you can't like, actually set any of them. Maybe the battery life may not be that great, because I think we were on like 60% or 50% when we started this review, mm. and we're down to 25% and mm, we That could be a... Uh, so, battery life may be an issue with this device. Yeah, some sort of also. The battery life is not excellent. Really? I think so. I thought it was pretty good for, for what it is. Really? But, yeah, so I think... That's all that we have to say for this guy. Um, it's interesting, 
even to me because it's, firstly it's a budget device, 399 only. Mm. My phone was about 335. Mm. If I were to pay a bit extra, I would get a 7 inch screen which is good for reading, nice for watching. It has flash, mm. even though some people don't like that, I feel it's great to have the accessibility to, accessibility to it. Yeah. So, so it fits in your pocket, depends, but it fits in my pocket. So yeah, like it, it does fit in your pocket, so you can take it around with you. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I might, I might actually consider this. This is an interesting device. Yeah, honestly, it is interesting. Price point is good. Mm. Perhaps possible issues. Maybe it does seem unresponsive. It's no, not really unresponsive. It might seem like some of our finger touches doesn't get registered. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, you must recognize this is a budget device. Mm. You cannot expect super high quality from it. Yeah. But I think based on the fact that it's a seven-inch device, Definitely. it's a phone. You can use it for. Um, mobile tethering via Wi-Fi. It has front-facing ca video mm. camera. It has front and back cameras. So I guess that's it. This is the Huawei S7 here at Yapi. Do check it out if you're interested. It's 399 Brunei dollars for cash. Nice. And it's an interesting device. It's a phone. It's a phone. It's a tablet. It's a phone tablet. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Huawei yeah. S7 yeah. here at Yapi in Sarasota. Thanks for watching guys.